Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church and we're here in my outdoor kitchen. Today I'm going to show you guys the holy trinity of Thanksgiving. Smoked turkey, stuffing, and gravy. We're right in the heart of our turkey series where we're dropping a new turkey video every week. And if you check that playlist out on our YouTube channel or on meatchurch.com, you'll see we smoke turkeys of all varieties. We've got spatchcock turkey, we've got turkey breast, we've got turkey lobe, we've got fried turkey. Today, I want to go really traditional and just do a whole smoked turkey. But you guys have been asking for sides, so we're going to throw in here bonus sausage stuffing and then turkey gravy that's going to be awesome so this might video might be a little longer than normal but that's okay because you're going to get a lot of good information so let's get started here i got a 15 pound turkey i took the meat church bird bath brine it's a very straightforward brine i put that in a sauce pot with some water heated it up and dissolved it thoroughly cooled it off completely and then poured it in a bucket so that i could brine this turkey which i brined overnight again 15 pound turkey i go 45 minutes a pound with my brine. So whether you use our brine or if you make a brine or use some other brine, I think brining poultry is very important because you're gonna smoke this for a long time and we don't want that old, you know, grandma dried out turkey. Not that my grandma ever dried out a turkey. But here we go. So there's gonna be a lot of brine mixture that comes out of this cavity. Very important after you brine, in a food safe container by the way, uh, to rinse this off thoroughly and pat it dry so that it's not too salty. This is an all natural turkey. If you got one that was in some sort of brine solution, um, I wouldn't brine that for more than like 15 minutes a pound. Uh, but like I said, we went overnight on this 15 pounder and it should be good for us. So I'm going to go rinse this off and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, we got this turkey cleaned up out of the brine. Dried off pretty good. She's ready to season. Got a lot of options in the meat church arsenal of how you want to season. We are going to season with our honey hog, which is probably the most tried and true uh, turkey seasoning that we have. Other good choices, voodoo is very popular. Been doing a lot with the garlic and herb if you want a really savory turkey. Uh, but this honey hog, amazing color, super good on poultry. Uh, it's, a, it's definitely a winner. But, you know, use whatever you want. Maybe you make something, maybe you got a favorite rub. You do whatever you want. I'm not putting a binder on here. Uh, since I just came out and just kind of patted it dry, I don't think it needs it, but you certainly could put an oil or anything you want on here. So nice, even application to make it as pretty as possible. I always tell folks I season about a foot to 18 inches high so that's a nice and even application. And I'm going to let this adhere after we've seasoned it for you know, a good 15 minutes or so. And we're going to get our fire ready to roll. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this when I'm, when I'm done. I'm gonna let it sit and I'll see you guys back here in about 15 minutes. While that seasoning's in here, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I'm cooking this today. I'm cooking on my mill scale 94 gallon offset. Obviously, you could cook this on any type of cooker that you have, but for you offset guys, I start my pit with a bed of lump charcoal and then I'm running hickory today. Uh, you also, if you know me, you know that I'm a post oak guy. Oak is a heavy smoke. Mesquite's also a heavy smoke. So for poultry, I'm going to dial it down a little bit on the smoke scale. And I'm going with hickory. You could also go even lighter with a pecan or even a fruit wood. We're running 275 degrees today. Uh, you know, if your pit is running a little hot, a little low, no big deal. Don't sweat that. We've also got a pan underneath here that I'm going to catch my turkey drippings in. And I know some of you are going to be like, that's really not practical. But hey, you know, again, you grow up and someone is making this turkey inside and they're catching the drippings to make their gravy. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put some heat gloves on later uh, to get this grate out to get the drippings, but I cook everything outside. I'm gonna tuck these wings 
You don't have to do that. That's something I'm going to choose to do. If you don't tuck them, you might end up just wrapping them in foil later. Uh, this piece of wood here is a fire block just to protect from the direct heat coming in. I'm putting the breast towards the firebox since that's what's going to take the longest to cook. This is probably going to take, I don't know, it's going to take maybe about three and a half hours, I'm guessing. Um, I've also got a water pan running up in here as well. A lot of offset guys like to do that to add moisture into the cook chamber. But I'm going to close this up. We're going to roll it all day. We'll base it with butter throughout the cook, so I'll check in with you guys throughout the day and see how it's going. Our turkey smoking, so let's get into making this sausage stuffing. This is my take on my friend Amanda Haas's recipe. And if you saw any of our videos last year, she's one of my colleagues at Traeger, and her sausage stuffing is very hearty, and I love it. So I'm going to change it just a little bit, but it's very easy. We're going to saute uh, some celery and onions, and after those are nice and translucent, I'm going to cook down about a half a tube of sage breakfast sausage. I'm going to add to it some herbs and some chopped pecans. Then we're gonna bring that all together uh, in a skillet. I'm gonna cut this loaf of sourdough. Need quite a few cups of bread. I'm gonna cut this into little cubes and then we're gonna pour some chicken stock over it. We're gonna mix it thoroughly, put it in this cast iron skillet and it's gonna be super simple from there. We're gonna put it in a 500 degree Traeger covered with aluminum foil for about half an hour. Then we're gonna pull that foil off. We're gonna let it go another 15 minutes to kind of crisp up that bread and it's going to be a very tasty, hearty compliment with this turkey. Got our induction burner going here, medium heat. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in it. You also uh, could use butter. So this is a sweet onion. About a cup of celery. This is a loaf of fresh sourdough made this morning at my local HEB. I'm gonna cut it up and just, you know, just kind of nice big, kind of, I call it like a rustic cut. compile this sausage stuffing. We've got eight cups of bread here. I'm gonna pour about half of it in. You can kind of do the bread to your liking, however much you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put this entire mixture in. This smells awesome, by the way. The sausage and the herbs, onions and nuts. Really, really good. I'm gonna put the rest of the bread in here, at least most of it. And then here's the key to this. You've gotta pour chicken stock over it. Yeah, it's all gonna work. And you wanna do this, you could take up to four cups, but you wanna do this until the bread feels really nice and moist. I have heat gloves on here. I have a insulated glove with latex on top. So, cause I like to do this with my hands. You could obviously use a spoon. Just mix it up gently. And when it feels to be the right consistency, when the bread is not dry, you're, uh, you're good to go. And then you're gonna load it up in a cast iron skillet when you get to that consistency. We're gonna cover it in foil. And my tip is gonna be put this in an hour before your turkey's done. Cause you're about 45 minutes to cook this. You gotta rest and carve your turkey anyway. So people always ask me how I time my Thanksgiving meal. I have a timeline written out. And I'm just gonna put this on, you know, two thirds of the way through the turkey cook. 
actually feels really good like that. I might a little more chicken stock and then I'm gonna put it in the cast iron and we're gonna be golden. All right, that feels really good to me. So I'm going in the lodge cast iron skillet here. And depending what size skillet you have, you know, make it nice and full, but you want to make it, you don't want to make it too full. If you got too much, you can put it in another, another uh, pan or whatever you want to do. I like to put some of that crusty bread right on top. That'll look really good. Make your guests nice and hungry. Remember, you eat with your eyes first. It's all gonna go in. I think I guessed pretty good. All right, get the bread looking pretty. We're gonna cover this with foil. And it's headed to the 500 degree Traeger. All right, see y'all in a bit. All right, guys, we've been cooking three hours and 15 minutes on this turkey. I've basted it two times during the cook. Let's check in on it. Woo! Gorgeous. I'd say nailed it. You see, we got our lodge cast iron here that we've got butter in from, uh, from basting it. But the time doesn't matter. It's about temperature, instant read thermometer, thick part of the breast. I'm at 160, and that's where I want to be because I'm gonna pull it at 160 and it's gonna carry over cook another five degrees or so. So I've got insulated gloves on, which is a cotton string glove uh, with nitro gloves pulled over the top. That's how I can handle this, but man, that looks so good. So good, whew. Well, we've gotta let it cool. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna pull my pan out with my drippings uh, and we're gonna make our gravy. So let me get to that and let's wrap this up and get to eating. All right, let's make this turkey gravy. So we've got our induction burner here, half a cup of butter. Just while that's melting, we also have half a cup of flour. I'm gonna let the butter melt down. So after we put the turkey on, I remembered I needed to put the neck down in my drip pan, along with a couple uh, cups of chicken stock. So this is, I'm straining off the drippings and there's no doubt some butter in here from when I basted but hey ain't nobody gonna be too mad about that I'm straining that off all right we'll just set that aside so that butter's melting down when it gets melted down I'm gonna mix in this flour we're just over medium heat here All right, now the butter's melted, I'm gonna whisk in this flour. Stir it quick. So I'm gonna cook this until it's nice and fragrant. Probably take six, seven minutes. Then I'm gonna pour in my strained uh, turkey drippings and we're gonna season that with our holy cow. Anytime something needs salt and pepper to season it, I opt to use our holy cow. Use what you want and then we're gonna have our turkey gravy. Now let's add some of these turkey drippings. Oh yeah, man, that smells good. Whew. All right, we're gonna simmer this, probably cook it eight or 10 minutes or so. It's gonna thicken up. I'm telling you, that's gonna be delicious because it smells awesome already. So you can see that's thickened up nicely. So I'm gonna season it with uh, some holy cow. Season it to taste. Okay, and I'm gonna move this induction burner out of here. I'm gonna go over to the Traeger, grab my sausage stuffing. I'm gonna put everything on this butcher block and then I'm going to eat. All right, y'all, I got the stuffing here out of the Traeger, looking awesome. And this whole meal is looking awesome. Got our gravy here, our smoked turkey. This has been cooling long enough and I can't wait any longer, so I'm gonna eat. 
let's just make the easy slice like we do right off the, the breast here. Got to like to do, ooh, juicy. I'm gonna get a little nibble before I go in the gravy. Mmm, <clears throat> smoky. You know the good thing about making cooking videos? This is all for me. So I can go right in that turkey dripping gravy and give that a shot. I'm pumped for that. Mmm. Dude, that's smoky. I love it. Oh, I love the smoke in that. If you don't like the smokiness, you're doing it wrong. Man, that's good. Let's get in on this uh, sausage stuffing, which I love because I'm telling you, it's hearty with that sausage in it. And the nuts and herbs just plays well together. Winner, winner. I'm telling y'all, I love everything about this meal. You gotta brine your turkeys. The honey hog is an amazing flavor your entire family will like. The smoke element in that gravy, this is a winner. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit our turkey playlist, whether you're spatchcock turkey, whole turkey, turkey breast, fried turkey, smoked fried turkey. We'll have them all by the time Thanksgiving rolls around, and we're going to roll into our holiday playlist all the way through Christmas time. Thank you all for hanging out today. I'll see you all next time.